The Karuma Hydroelectric Power Station stands as Uganda's largest power project to date with a generation capacity of 600 megawatts. Commissioned by President Yuri Museveni, the power plant is expected to transform the energy landscape by addressing power shortages and accelerating economic development across key sectors. So we have moved now, but we are going to continue moving. We are not going to relax. Because this little electricity we have here now is going to support the factories. It will be very soon, because now the, the, the surplus is like 500 megawatts. But very soon it will be overtaken. So that's why, where is Ayago Nankavirwa? We, we, we gave it to some people, what are they doing? President Museveni's vision is echoed by the Vice President, retired Major Jessica Lupo, who emphasized the need for continued investment in energy infrastructure to meet the demands of Uganda's rapidly expanding economy. It is a clear indication of the NRM government's strategic approach to uplifting every sector of society through provision of energy a vital ingredient, ingredient for national development. According to the Minister of Energy and Mineral Development, Dr. Ruth Nankabirwa, the commissioning of Karuma is not just about adding megawatts to the grid, but it's about ensuring electricity stability. First of all, government contributed 15% to the money that was used to set up this plant. And that means that the cost of the electricity from here is going to be cheaper, 4.97 US cents. She, however, underscores the need for the government to continue investing heavily to cushion the country from load shedding and blackouts in the near future. We need more money to reach everybody and we need more power. If we are to see the standard gauge railway being facilitated with electricity, if we are to see all border borders using electricity, all cars manufactured in Uganda or imported using electricity, we need much more power. That's why our energy generation strategy has a figure of 52,481 megawatts by 2040. Karuma is a clean energy plant that underscores Uganda's commitment to sustainable development, says the permanent secretary at the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Development. By adding Karuma to the national grid, we see our clean energy electricity increasing to 93% of our energy mix. So that speaks again to greening. Greening, net zero, commitment by the government of Uganda, to ensure that we are achieving our nationally determined contributions as committed at COP28, but also under the UNFCC protocols. The project also reflects Uganda's deepening cooperation with China in infrastructure development as highlighted by the Chinese ambassador to Uganda. China will continue to be Uganda's reliable partners in realizing the Uganda vision 2040. But I'm also very happy with China and also the company Sino Hydro because they are a serious company. So I will write to the president of China and thank him for his, for his support. With Karuma now operational, the country's power generation capacity has risen to 2,000. 200 megawatts. The commissioning of this 600 megawatts Karuma hydropower plant is just a drop in the ocean in Uganda's quest to produce at least 52,000 megawatts of electricity by the year 2040. Dennis Igor for UBC News in Karuma.